Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Shem El Shai, Bar Shem El Rakah Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of great mills on the rule well, and Shalom to the whole full elect. This is the book of Acts 14 and 1. And it came to pass in Iconum that they went both together into the synagogue of the Jews, and so spake that a great multitude, both of the Jews and also the Greeks, believed. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the Gentiles and made their minds evil, affected against the brethren. Long time therefore abode they, speaking boldly in the Lord, which gave testimony unto the word of his grace, and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands. All right. So this is Paul and Barnabas. They basically were prophesying. And, you know, you had certain of the Jews basically stir up the Gentiles, you know, coming against the word, basically. But the Heavenly Father showed their word, magnified the words of, of Paul and, and, and Barnabas, all right, by not only, you know, by the signs, the, the boldness of their speaking, and the signs and wonders basically showing that, you know, it was a witness unto a testimony, all right? But the multitude of the city was divided and part held with the Jews and part with the apostles, all right? And that's true to what our Lord said, man. I've come to set a man at variance. Um, I forgot the scripture before that. It's escaping in a moment. Um, da, 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 da. Think I come to bring peace upon the earth. Um but the Lord basically come to bring a sword, all right, to set a man at variance against his family. Basically, the Lord came to bring division, all right, and that's for the sake of what dividing his elect from those that are in the world, all right, the wicked of this world, all right. And in this sense, this is Ezekiel eleven and six, you know, eleven and sixteen, Salakia, I believe, coming into full effect, all right, about the scattering of the children of Israel. And then having little sanctuaries wherever they're scattered, all right. And the synagogues. Imagine the, the children of Israel are scattered all throughout. This is modern day Turkey, all right, where um, Paul and Barnabas were um, basically traveling through, all right. And they had little sanctuaries all over the place, but within that little sanctuary, all right, where within those um, those um diasporas of, of, of Jake or at Judah, you basically had little sanctuaries that were for the Lord and the heavenly and Yahweh Shai through the spirit of his men were dividing them, bring a division to, to seek to search out his his flock basically. Verse four, but the multitude of the city was divided and part held to the Jews and part with the apostles. And when there was an assault made both of the Gentiles and also of the Jews the their with their rulers to use them despitefully and to stone them, they were aware of it and fled unto Lystra and Derby, cities of Lyconia, and unto the region that lieth round about. All right. So basically, they moved, removed themselves from that region of the region of Iconum to another region where you had Lystra and Derby. All right. And there they preached the gospel. And there sat a certain man, and that's what it was all about, preaching the gospel, all right? Spreading the word, the good news of Yahweh Shai, all right? Salvation of Israel. And there sat a certain man at Lystra, impotent in his feet, being a cripple from his mother's womb, who never, who, who never had walked. The same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him, and perceiving that he had, the faith, had faith to be healed, said with a loud voice, stand up right on thy feet, and he leaped and walked, all right? So this is a man that never been paralyzed since the day he came out of his mother's womb. When he, when Paul saw they had faith, he said, get up and walk. And the man leapt, all right? He didn't, you know, you know, slowly stand up, even though if he did that, it would have been a great miracle anyway. But it says he leapt and then walked. He got hit with the spirit, man, all right? And just leaped up and started walking. Verse 9, and the same heard Paul speak, who steadfastly beholding him and perceiving that he had faith to be healed. So lucky I've read that. Uh, verse 11, and when the people saw that uh, what Paul had done, they lifted up their voices saying in the, in the speech of Lyconia, all right, 
So their language, the gods are come down to us in a likeness of men. And this shows you how far gone the people were, all right? Because they they associated the, the works of Paul and Barnabas with what? The god, the pantheon, all right, that they worshipped at the time, all right? Roman godhood, all right? Verse 12. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, right, which Jupiter is a Roman god, a Roman version of Zeus, which is like the head of all the gods, the pantheon, the major gods, gods, and then and Paul Mercurus, because he was the chief speaker. Around you have Mercury, which is meant to be a son of Jupiter, and it has the, he has the winged hat, you know, and the winged feet, and known as a messenger, all right, known for being eloquent with his speech. So that's why they denoted Paul to that point, all right, because he spoke with great boldness and power, all right. Verse 13, then the priests of Jupiter, which was before their city, brought oxen and garlands onto the gates, all right. So ox, oxen and garlands, garlands like a, a floral wreath, all right, of celebration, all right. You can't, Elam's a good example, they have those when they celebrate and they, uh, pay homage to their um, idols. They're basically hanging out about the necks of the people. All right. So they had those. All right. And it says, and would have done sacrifice with the people, which when the apostles put Barnabas and Paul heard of, they rent their clothes and ran in among the people, crying out and saying, "Sirs, why do you these things? We also are men like of like passions with you." All right, um, so they they in terms of what they have a, a a belief a faith towards a higher power, all right, and preach unto you that ye should turn from these vanities these idols unto the living power, all right. So they wanted to to veer their passion their faith into the right direction within the right thing, all right, because the work that they had they had, you know wrote or or done before the people. All right, was in the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Barsham, El Shai, Barsham, El Rakaku, Dash. But the people took it onto their vain idols, all right, and they were trying to direct them to the living power, all right, because what these are, the living power, Yahweh, is, is alive, and these dumb idols are, are, are dead, all right, which made heaven and earth and the sea and all things that are therein who in times past suffered all nations to walk in their own ways. Nevertheless, he left not himself without witness in that he did good and gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons filling our hearts with food and gladness. All right. And the heavenly father does that. And with these sayings, scarce restrained they the people. So those words couldn't turn the minds of the people away from what they wanted to do with the garland and the oxen to make sacrifice that they had not, done sacrifice unto them all right and there came diva certain jews from antioch and iconum who persuaded the people and having stone pool so this shows you that um brings to mind um uh you have spies sent to you know to spy out our um our righteousness lucy paraphrasing but these men man they they've they came from Antioch and Iconum. They were looking for Paul and Barnabas, especially Paul, to get at him, stone him, all right? So it says he persuaded the people and having stoned Paul, drew him out of the sea, supposing he had been dead. How be it, as the disciples, that's like a drive-by, man. You know, what's the modern-day stoning would be a, a shooting, all right? Throwing stones, throwing bullets, all right? How be it, as the disciples stood round about him, he rose up and came into the city. <laughs> and the next day he departed with Barnabas to Derby. So he, in Lystra he showed himself after that, even when they supposed he died. He, he had died, showing the, the, the might. It was a testament unto the Heavenly Father. And then they went back to Derby as well. They went on to Derby as well. All right. Verse 21. And when they had preached the gospel to, the, to that city, and had taught many, they returned again to Lystra. All right, so also going back again and to Iconum and Antioch, the same places where they found problems. All right, and it's, just, it's to this point confirming verse 22, confirming, all right, for confirmation, confirming of you know, reaffirming, all right, the souls of the disciples and exhorting them 
to continue in the faith, all right? After those events, the healing of the man and then persuading, um, you know, of the, 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 um, the man impotent at the feet, all right? And, um, you know, going against the people after they had done the work to, to regard it, to put it in the regard of the Heavenly Father, all right? And then being stoned and continuing in the work, this this is the greatest form of exaltation that could be done, all right? Within it, it within within this man, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High Power. So after all that, he showed himself worthy and continued strong in the faith. Verse twenty three. And when they had ordained them elders in every church, and had prayed with fasting, they commended them. Of the Lord on whom they believed. And after they had passed throughout uh, Syria, they came to uh, Pamphylia. And when they had preached the word of Perga, Perga, they went down into Attilia and then sailed to Antioch, from whence they had been recommended to the grace of the power for the work which they fulfilled. And when they were come and had gathered the church together, they rehearsed all that the Most High had done with them and how they had opened the door of faith unto the Gentiles. And there, and there they abode long time with the disciples. So with that, I pray you edify to the next one. I say Shalom. Shalom.